I mean, there's some places that would probably be okay to stash it if we could get it there safely. But we can't rule out that somebody would stumble across it. We know that people in Gothic kind of went into the sewers for the resistance. The resistance. Oh, they did. Okay. At least a little bit. Not very far into the sewers. Mm. Oh. I do have one question. Um, to the two of you. There's a um, gate in the sewers, the mushroom circle gate, that we haven't explored yet. Are either of you, uh, do either of you have enough magical reserves to go through the gate? No. Well, she might, I don't. Just current juice that I have right now? Or is it a spell that we need? Current juice, so to speak. Pretty juicy. <laughs> <laughs> Hmm. Hmm. Logan, how how do I uh in game how do I translate like how much it would cost? You need to be a mighty wizard in order to go through that and survive. Okay. It'd be the way you I need to be a mighty wizard. The <laughs> uh, vast tracks of magical potential. No, oh. I'm as yeah. juicy as all that. Well, we could try. Is, is the penalty death if you don't make it? I mean, it's the same as yeah. if your energy runs below what you have available. Well, kind of. Gates are kind of a different thing because they, they will suck out your life force if, they, if you don't have enough magic force. And by life force, it means death. So you'll, you might, might arrive on the other side dead or you might just be somewhere in the middle dead but either way it'll be it's a great introduction to the resurrection system of the game potentially so i recommend it so we couldn't each donate part of our magical reserves to achieve the full effect mm. no. if one of you can go through the others can trump to that person but one person needs to go through. Hmm. And that, yeah. But I don't have that many. My magic is mediocre. That would be... Doc Fulton can go through easy peasy, no problem. Hmm. That's what he told me when he discovered it. Oh. Do you need to spend that every time, or is it... Uh, I don't know. Is it like, now the gate's activated, anyone can go through it? I've never been through one of those, so I don't know. You could you could go there, look at it, and use your uh, magic glasses to uh, give you a chance to analyze magic. Do you have a magic glasses? I do not. You might well, do I do not. Yeah. I mean, I have them. I have them. If you want to use them. Ah. Hmm. Where did you get them? From Gothic. Gothic? Yeah. I just asked the butler to buy me some, and he did. You'd have to make willpower to use them, probably. Yeah. That no, would expend a few charges, probably. But oh, don't, for, have... don't forget to tell them why you had to get the butler to buy them for you. Oh, right, yeah, because apparently you need some special ass tattoo or something. Oh, yeah. Buy oh, yeah. magical. We used to have those. Oh, yeah. 
Apparently, tattoos are removable. And apparently, they're very expensive. And they were only removable while walking the pattern. Yeah. Expensive and illegal. Yeah, so we're kind of actually bummed that we don't have them anymore. We have caught them to get them again. Uh, the guy that did them is gone. Ah. I see. Probably dead. Well, that's he, not... wasn't, he wasn't a nice guy. No. Oh, but he was a useful guy. Yes. Have you heard of Dragon Don? No. Then he's probably oh. forever. He won't again. <laughs> <laughs> He is like the crime boss. Yeah. But now well, Gothic is all, unless if it's changed again, is all uh, military state like, type of deal. You want tattoo? Yeah. I get you tattoo. You go mass murder for me. I get you tattoo. <laughs> <laughs> what a great mission that was. <coughs> I didn't sign up for this. Yeah, actually, you kind of did. <laughs> So, do you want to go and have a look at the case? I have the glasses with me. Let's poke some mushrooms. Sure. Cut to you guys after trooping through the well mapped sewers. Oh, hell, Freddy. You guys reach the, uh, the mushroom ring. He hands you the goggles and you proceed to burn through all the rest of his charges, failing your willpower every time, and laughing at him as he stands there looking glum. Well, that may happen. You can go ahead and try some willpower rolls if you'd like. Each one is another charge lost. Lost to time. Let me Shall see if turns? I have any charges. Analyze magic is a hobby of mine. Yeah. Then just give it a shot. Go ahead and see what happens. Or actually, for uh, uh, Dana to know if she is juicy enough to go through and make it, since you got Trump over, then uh, she she should probably be the one to uh, attempt it because then, you know, uh, I'll let her know if she thinks she can make it through. I mean, alive. Make it through alive, just to specify that. All right. Yeah. Um, I have hero point rate and NPC. Do we have any? Oh, what about X and two, three? There you go. Sad robot. Meh. No. Sure. Here is sad robot. Oh, cool. please make a note of it, somebody. Stay alive, uh. Johnny. Five. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I also have analyzed device. Let me see your very small butter warmer. Oh my God! She got the analyzed device card. I am so fucking disappointed. All right. Cheater McGee, let me see it. He hands it to yeah. you. It is an it. anal refresher. Ha! I was right. Yes, yes. <laughs> I'll, I'll give you a card, but if you'd manage to stick it up somebody's butt. Now, um, in order uh, to activate it, you have to put it up somebody's ass. How is that useful? Uh, <laughs> it's got a big button on it. <laughs> Sometimes you need to freshen up. Uh, yes, but if you put it up somebody's butt and then press the big button, I'll tell you what it does. All right. Who wants to play a lot of paper scissors? Is it low steam? He said it was useful. Low smoke. <laughs> uh, how, how, how big is How big is the pub? Uh, it, it's, it's rectal thermometer size now that you're looking at it after she said that. Glenn. Don't look on Freddie's face like, why? Why do I get suckered into this horrible shit? Damn that card. Damn that card all the hell. Put, put, uh, your, fine. put your cable fine. over your face, Glenn, for his privacy. We're not looking. We don't want to look. Well, you, you, actually, if you want to see what the uh, display says, then you would need to look. <laughs> Because he sure as fuck can't see it. 
Do either of you have a pair of glasses? <laughs> nope. Well, no, Dana has yours. Is my what? A normal, a normal pair. Glasses. Oh. Um, no? I have binoculars. Uh, no, that wouldn't work. <laughs> he likes to watch. <laughs> oh, I need glasses. <laughs> Joseph with his cape and the knife <laughs> watching in the cape. <laughs> you feel awkward as Davis in there with it going. <sighs> no, there's a spell that can mimic the display on the inside of the glasses. Oh, uh, that was. Well, that, that's one way to try to get anybody to not see your ass, I suppose. But I'm sure that they've seen parts of you they wish they could forget. Uh, this may just be another in the long litany of them. All right, fuck it. Fine. Fine. I'll do it. <laughs> are, you, are you bending over and dropping your pants? Yes. Dana, you're the one holding the... Uh, device that he has recently bled on, had in his mouth, tried to write on the wall with, eaten an apple off of. <laughs> and you're wondering, how many times has this been used previously? Mm. And on what? Just be gentle, okay? All right. I have I have medical experience here. Oh no, wait, wait. Does anyone have lube? First. <laughs> <laughs> now he's begging for lube. It's always the way. No, no, the fine. I don't. I don't know if I have it in my medical kit here. Some water over there. Water is you not just, really lube, but if you want to, you splash just point to a disgusting puddle. <laughs> uh, so there's some water want, there. Do you want to stuff it up his butt or what? Well, I lie down on my side. On the, on the floor of the sewer in the mushroom room where you guys are hanging. Oh, out. oh yeah, we're still there. Uh, uh, yeah, this is the right place for this. You're thinking as you're laying on the dirt, going, no, no. Dana, what do you do? Uh, no, I'm going to stand up. Oh, I will sorry. follow his directions. Uh, right. Ooh, cold, he says. Oh, uh, warm it up, she says. <laughs> right. <laughs> and uh, uh, the little display says 3-7. Blah. Are you 37 years old? No. What no. What do you want to do now? Dana, it's it's up there. You Do you want to do anything else while it's up press there? Press the button. I press the button. Which is the button? Which is the, the button, big one. Freddy? The big one. I'm pressing the big button. Excellent. Freddie, if you have any stun damage, it instantly goes away. <laughs> oh. He did now. Refreshing. It's an anal <laughs> refresher. <laughs> I can't wait until somebody gets into a big fucking long fist fight and then goes over and goes, I need the anal refresher. <laughs> Oh, and it can work whenever. All you have to do is have somebody drop their pants, stuff it up their ass, press the big button, and their stun goes away as often as you would like. <laughs> <laughs> A party that probes together stays together. Oh, uh, okay. It only uh, works up the ass, too. I'd just like to point that out. <laughs> of course. What the three seven is, is I, I'll give out two cards for anybody who can guess what the three seven is. Is that like the numbers the, are next to each other? Might say thirty seven, it might say three seven. It could have problems counting. You're not sure. Oh, that's my internal internal body temperature. Yes, have two cards. You are thirty seven degrees Celsius approximately. So here's your two cards. So, uh, so are are we done here, Freddy? <laughs> it's still right up the old chocolate whiz way. Four buttons, buddy. <laughs> what do you want here? Yeah. We're already here. I mean, so. I mean, while you're down there, is everything okay? <laughs> uh, I'll, I'll roll. I'll roll some of my medic roll. Press um, some more buttons. See what happens. 
<laughs> Would you like to press some more buttons? <laughs> Uh, uh, to press more buttons? Yes, no. Yes, no. While well, you're down there. You stay out of this in a corner with your stupid, stupid cape. <laughs> Getting in the way. Stop. <laughs> Why are you so close? You have binoculars. Ready? Are, are you wanting her to push more buttons while she's down there? I mean, look, I'm 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 asking her her medical opinion because I haven't had a prostate yes, in like ever. Actually, uh, prostate you need the finger because you have to feel around for something. That's the whole purpose of a prostate. I know because I've only had one or two, and I've been trying to get a doctor to do it, and they're like, "You're fine," because none of them will want to do it. They're like, "No, no, you're fine." You're fine. I don't care if you're fucking full of cancer. You're fine. <laughs> uh, yeah, sure. Press the button. Okay. I press. I press the buttons in Excellent. a methodical right. way to be able uh, to. Eventually, you you find a button that causes it to go and vibrate. Yeah. Yeah. Freddie yeah. <laughs> seems to be getting very excited. <laughs> It's refreshing, I guess. So yes, it it uh, it it something is going against your prostate now, and they are feeling very awkward. Uh, you can put seem out, to have out, a vibrator out. up your ass right now. Um, <laughs> Glenn's standing over there watching you, going with his cape out. Oh, sorry, he's mostly covering one of his eyes. <laughs> you feel dirty, Freddy. Pull it out, pull it out, I'm done, I'm done. <laughs> I, I follow his instructions. The brilliant thing about this device is it could be used on the battlefield. Just imagine the soldiers that you could bring back with this thing. <laughs> Hell of a way to wake up. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So you've gotten it pulled out of your butt and uh, put back on your pants and stuff. Do you stand there holding it and looking like I'm, a, I'm thinking about my doctor training, thinking about the doctor training, not really helping, but I'm thinking about the doctor training. I kind of look at both of them. You good? For science. <laughs> yes. You figured it science. out. Science. All right. All right. We'll just disinfect this over here. I'm not that dirty. Come on. <laughs> it it kind of smells. It is made for easy cleaning. All right, I, I hand it back. Yeah. Uh, I put it back on that back. I mean, yes, very well. <laughs> uh, who's uh, looking at the mushrooms? Well. Oh, that's a, that's a good hour plot there. I'm not very willpower y. Yes, but you're the one who will know if you're juicy enough to be able to go through or not at a glance. <laughs> just do it. That way you can know without metagaming. Mm -hmm. I'll just tell you a yes or no. Okay. You just have to. Plus, plus, if you can make your willpower times three, you get a check in willpower, which may make it go up. Only reason I, take I, I take a top of well, yeah. Freddy's glasses so you can burn as many charges as you want to try to make your willpower roll. This is you can't lose unless you fumble. I put on the glasses. Dun, 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 dun. I look towards the mushrooms. Dun, 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 dun. I use my card for a plus five. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. Good luck. I mean, 
It's just a whole pile of work. I know. Dang. The analyzed magic is more important than the willpower roll. Yes, but she needs to make the willpower roll first. Yeah. Dun, 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 dun. <clears throat> I turn on the glasses. Ah. <laughs> Let's see what I happens on the fumble now. I had my plus five, which I didn't put into the equation. Is that still a fumble? It is, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <gasps> All right. Whatever you did was just massively painful, costing you both hit points and magic points. Roll a d4 for your hit points lost. Roll a d4 for your magic points lost. I have a, I have a reroll card. Would you like a different fumble? This is not a bad fumble. I recommend this one myself because if you spend a reroll card at this point, all you get is a different fumble card. Okay. Yeah. You need to tell him to stop before he draws a card. Mm. If you want to it all happened so fast. Yes. <laughs> ah, my brain. What's the, what's the consequence for this one? Roll a d4 for magic points going bye bye, and roll a d4 for hit points going bye bye. They will regenerate normally. However, okay. they regenerate if they regenerate. But I need my juice. Hey, that's magic. Oh, well, too many D4s. Too many D4s. So four and one then, I think. Yeah. Yeah, we can do that. Great. So, um, right. And since you fumbled with your willpower, you're done for the day. So. Um, well, that was fun, guys. <laughs> at least you didn't destroy the glasses. I was kind of hoping for that. Just, <laughs> just shows them fall apart and Freddie goes. <sighs> And then you stuff something else up his ass. He goes, Arr! same expression both times. It'll be awesome. I'll try. There you go. Sure. Right. Another charge goes away. Freddie, I hope you're keeping track. Yeah. Let's see that willpower roll. No. One charge. Two charge. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Fumble. Uh, there we go. And the fumble card is. I have a reroll. Do you want to trade me a reroll, Glenn? Say, nah, I can take it. Yeah, they can be done for the day. Yeah. All right. You got the draw two card. Dun, 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 dun. You got yeah. another draw two card and a. Right. You drop the. Um, uh, glasses you were looking for. I try to catch them immediately. Give me a catch roll, and then he's stunned. He goes ah, and just stands there. Good luck on the catch. No, he says. Give me a fumble, please. God, give me an air fumble. I don't know. It's... What else? Catch? Oh, there was... oh fail. No. Give me a luck roll, Freddie. Lowers better. No. Little nuclear explosion. Uh -huh. They land on a mushroom. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody else laughs when your glasses fall on the ground. <laughs> I gently wet them clean. Okay. Them back in the case. They seem just fine to you. Maybe we should try this some other day. <laughs> yeah. Right. Like do, tomorrow or Yeah, do you want to do it tomorrow and today we can tear your tarot cards and never roll them? Yes. Okay. Cut you to never land. You guys head to Clems. From Clems, there's a lot of yelling guards. They escort you around. You guys go to the new, bigger, nicer house in Kinleyville. It is a lovely place, and it has toilets, like with a, like their own little stream flowing underneath. It's not exactly a flush toilet because the stream's always going, but if you poop, it goes down into the stream and goes the fuck away. It is great. For Kinleyville, this is uh, high technology. Uh, they they 
there's they made a lot of little uh, stuff here. It really shows that these people appreciate all that you guys do. Oh, is there any spare magical armor? Yeah, I'd appreciate you that much, Freddie. Now let me let me uh, let me check here real quick. <laughs> Actually, give me a luck roll. I don't know. It might be lower is better. Magic armor. Oh, you do. So I could use some magic armor. Oh, you have to. Okay. You can uh, you can give me a luck roll after he's done. Does but, Dana oh. want magic armor too? Oh, Freddie's yeah. like magic armor. Cool. It's like leather armor that's been magicated. It counts as the usual two places, and then. Oh. Uh, then Scott looks in his cupboard and she looks in her cupboard. Let's see if you guys can find any. Where are we? You're in the MM you're in MMO land in Kinleyville. Pulling everybody pulls out magic armor. You've got <laughs> leather armor that's been magicated. It's not Freddie, you don't like this uh, armor as much as your literal breastplate. I know, I miss my breastplate, but mm -hmm. Yeah, you had a remarkable pair of boobs there for a while whenever you wore it. You missed them. They were so mm -hmm. well shined by you as well. It's like Lincoln's nose. Mm -hmm. So, you guys are sitting in there. This is pretty much a, um, unless you want to go outside of town to try ripping tarot cards or something, it's up to you. I don't know, man, we don't do it indoors. I, you never know what might happen. This is the PC house. Yes. Yeah. Uh, also, there there are um, there's like a, a big uh, barrel full of arrows, several bows and stuff, uh, extra bow strings, all that bullshit's here. I'm gonna change into the leather armor and leave my Kevlar in storage here. Great. Make a note of it on the uh, shared storage thing because somebody else will go, I need magic armor. All that you can find is this fucking sweaty, smelly Kevlar vest. Mm -hmm. By the way, you get several compliments on your baby blue cape as you wander the city. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, they, they, these guys, uh, one of them's like, was that a quest reward? This is their mentality. So you guys moved to a safe spot outside of town. Uh, yeah. there's like ooh, somebody even packed you guys a nice picnic basket and shit. So you've been keeping an eye out for bears. Uh, but you've moved outside of town and you're ready to rip some taros. You're pretty much in the safe of areas you can find. There's farms all around you and stuff with some very wary looking farmers sending their families off to different farmhouses while you guys are out here in their fields experimenting with shit. But, you know, this is about as good as it gets. I mean, unless you want to walk for days away type shit. Uh, trying to find Pete's spreadsheet on the tarot cards. Uh, it's on the farm somewhere. Yeah. You can just make a make a note of it uh, uh, for the boards, and then he'll add it to the spreadsheet yeah. later. Save time. Um, I'm trying one? to find a picture of the, you know, an Im images of the deck, but I forget what kind you said. Uh, it's a Rider Weight Tarot deck. Uh, excuse me, there's a knock on the door. Come okay, Knight of Cups, Ten of Swords, Queen of Swords, Ten of Pentacles. Um, I have many. Many, many. Oh, this will be, be fun. Because I just haven't been able to get to a place where the hour doesn't just... It seems like the face cards are all buffing a magic spell of a particular element that's randomly associated with that suit. Like King of Swords is casting one air spell with no magic points. King of Cups is casting one water spell with no magic point. So since Queen of Wands is casting one fire spell at double effect, then the Queen of the other suits are probably double effect for that. 
uh, element. If you'd like to see what the cards look like, here is the link. Thank you. Mm -hmm. If you have any um, major arcana, those are the good ones. Oh, yeah, those were awesome. Yeah. Okay. Or maybe not so awesome. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. Well, I was planning on keeping one or two until the very end of the season to protect my magic sword. Mm. Uh, I would personally recommend ripping everything because this is the great find out what's going on. I mean, if you've got something that you're like, I've got one of the kings or queens or whatever, and I kind of got a good idea what those do, that's different, but... Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Because everything expires at the end of the season. Okay. Scott, did you find on the boards where there's like a running list to be uh, well, Yeah, I found the spreadsheet. What do you need? Uh, maybe a link to the spreadsheet. Oh. <laughs> All right. I'm so, very back to she researches. Awesome. Thank you. And now I have five million tabs, and I need to. Yeah. Right oh, back. please. <laughs> you can see how many I have open. Okay. Yeah, how do you handle all those? Do you keep just rotating through or what? Uh, well, whoever, what do you mean, like? Well, basically, it's whoever has. A card tears it, and that's their card. But no, I mean um, all of these tabs. I'm like, oh, uh, I have a really good computer. Okay, well, that would be a way to handle it. Okay, Hello. so I have, if you guys, um, judgment. Ooh. So. I was trying to see if that. Okay, Eight of Cups. Um, Page of Cups. Those seem to maybe not be awful. That's how many I have open. In case you're curious. <laughs> but if I click on that, then I have another tab open. <laughs> <laughs> Can't handle it. Um, I would probably start with judgment. You just never close anything. <laughs> um, I would if I close something, I'll forget that it exists. And I'll be like, sad. <laughs> All right, I'm I'm making confetti. We're someplace safe enough. Uh huh. <laughs> All right. I'm a good ten yeah. years away from her. Let's yeah, see. Back. Let's see what judgment does. No problem. You are fully healed. Roll d six. That's how many times you die. <laughs> Five times. Um, you uh, gain five sanity. Roll a d10. Oh. Is, is uh, someone taking note of what this does? For the chart? Right, wait, wait, wait. Hope so. Uh, quick question. Is this from the first deck, um, Sheila, or the second? First. This is still the first for me. Yeah, the yeah. second deck hasn't been activated. If second deck gets activated, the first deck is deactivated. 
Okay, so full heal. Uh huh. A D6 of sand gain. Uh huh. Okay. And roll a D10. Which card was it? Judgment. Or judgment. Not justice. No, judgment. Judgment. Got it. Are you taking notes, Glenn? Um. I think and, everybody is, and then they'll argue about it later. And yeah. um, what, what is what is your learn skill? My learn skill uh -huh. is something I have to look up. Uh -huh. It is at a 13. So now your new skill, play trumpet, is mm -hmm. at a total of 21. Mm -hmm. Okay. Wow. New random skill at learn plus D10. No, play trumpet is the skill. Oh. I didn't look closely at the picture. Is there a trumpet? Mm-hmm. The pictures do give some idea or clue. That's wonderful. Mm-hmm. Um, okay. Play trumpet is only up to 60, so if you have higher than a 60 in it, it won't help. But it is a good way to Learn to Louis Armstrong your way through life. What's next? Uh, 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 so many tabs. Okay. Next. Looking in. Okay, so that was judgment, and then now let's do justice. Please let it summon the justice family. <laughs> really? <laughs> I love those guys. Not something I would go for personally, but you know. <laughs> oh, where's justice? Justice, justice. I used to know the order of all these and stuff. There it is. Okay. <laughs> right. You tear that one. In any trial, the fairest decision will be reached, even if the NPCs were trying to set you up, etc. Forever? No. Just in the next trial. Yeah, forever in the next trial. So no, the next trial. Next trial today? No, in the next trial that you have. Oh, unless you, cool. unless your magic goes away. That's a good one to have. Mm -hmm. So that effect is going on you for a while, but until, you're, until your magic gets dispelled. The next trial the PCs are involved in? No, the next trial she's involved in. They may toss the rest of you in a dungeon, but if she was innocent, she will get released if if they can produce the evidence and stuff. They're just going to come to the fairest decision possible. Okay. Now, a dangerous card indeed. On the other hand, if she was at fault, they will <laughs> met out the fairest sentence possible to yes. her. It's not going to rule in our favor necessarily. It depends on if she was in being nice or not. So for many of the PCs, this could be considered a deep off. Mm -hmm. It's like, what about my crooked lawyers? Yeah, they fall before justice. You got any others, Dana? Yes, Knight of Swords. Rip. Okay. That's just a spell one. Mm -hmm. You can cast any one air spell of your choice at double range uh, for the day. It's useless for uh, self spells. Okay. Any air spell? Yeah, you pick one air spell. And for the day, this only lasts for a day. Yep. So, do you have any air spells? 
I do, but um, do I need like a, so I, I'd like to try to get a crit on breathe. So I do it, do I need to like get a bucket of water and stick my head in it or something to well, um, do it or can I just, breathe, yeah. is, breathe is a self only spell. So that would not be double range, but as far as practicing your spells, you probably do that a little later because this card's not going to affect it. Yeah. It, well, like, for example, if you had an air blast or something like that, then it would double the range. Okay. I just have the first two, which are both self. There may be more added to the thing. Be sure to check the uh, trees from time to time because I've been putting in damage spells as well. So now you can learn more shit. Which you have no time for because you're trying to learn how to paint. <laughs> Sorry. What's next? All right. So now I uh, do three of swords. Rip. Ah. Are you sure you got three of swords? Somebody else used that one. Maybe that's from the. Did they already hand out a second deck? No, the second deck can't be active. The first deck is dead. Yeah, you might want to keep track of this. Uh, you have the three I of swords that, from but... deck four. Huh? <laughs> you have the three of swords for deck four. But that wouldn't have been handed out to me yet. It says then you, you never handed it. it in. Right? I have been. I'm just saying, guys. I've been on we're top still, of it. We're still accumulating cards for decks that oh. aren't active yet. Yes, but I hand them into the embassy every time that I have them. Oh, okay. And I do not keep them on my sheet. But I'll do the girl thing of like, okay, if you guys think so, I guess I don't. Oh, maybe someone has a duplicate. That's why. All right. Oh. So if I don't what, have... Is that the girl card, thing? Were you woman claiming to us? <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, okay, rather than have conflict with you guys, it's impossible for you to have that, which nobody did. But. I'm, I'm just reading the spreadsheet. I know. So if we already know what Three of Swords does, then that yep. is fine. Zoop. Uh, do we know what Page of Cups does? Mm. Pentacles. Nope. Swords. Cups, Rip there it, it is. Um, page. Rip it. Right. Provided they do it uh, before the end of the day or night in game, the PC may ask the GM any one simple question to which they will get one of the five following answers to. <laughs> yes, no, I don't know, it's complicated, or fuck you, depending on which the GM oh, feels. Oh, well, you know what you can ask if you want. That's pretty cool. <laughs> Remember, the answer here, I'll just copy paste this one because it's kind of a long one. There you go. There you go. <laughs> Very nice. I have until the end of the day mm -hmm. for my question. Mm -hmm. Nice. All right. By the way, just to remind you guys. Uh, for next season, some of the tarot powers may change. Oh, you dirty rat. Mm -hmm. Not It's not likely that most of them will, but if Logan comes up with a new, better idea for one, it'll be like, ah, fuck the old thing. And then you get struck by lightning when you're like, this one will add to my stats. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so what's next? Eight of Cups. Hmm. <laughs> right. Um, drink. I will copy paste this one as well, but I'll read it to you. Drinking to forget finally pays off. If you get blind drunk or do something else GM approved consistent with your character to escape your woes uh, for the evening slash day, you regain D4 sanity. Ooh. <laughs> So, like, if you go on a steroid binge, maybe, or just get really drunk, have one of those days with the fucking carton of ice cream and the couple bottles of wine, you know, that kind of deal. 
God, I would like that. Mm. That's me exploring my feminine side. I want to get drunk on wine tonight and binge on ice cream and steroids. <laughs> and steroids. <laughs> I can only go so far on my uh, feminine side thing. Okay. What's next? Right, I think I'm good. I think I've ripped them. Okay. Does anybody else have stuff left? We'll have yep. the list open. Cool. Yep. What you got? Ten of pentacles. Say again, please. Ten of pentacles. Ten. Ah. Where are you pentacles? Too much. Pentacles. There it is. Ten of pentacles. Hmm. Plus ten percent streetwise for the day. And Ten of Swords. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's a nice one there. Um, if you're using a sword in combat, you get a bump of one place up in damage for uh, the combat. Oh, that's... I'm bad, not for the day. Um, during the day, the next combat only. <laughs> but that stacks with your other shit. Uh, that's all I'm going to do. Okay. Oh, you found out some useful information. Don't Info. forget to send that to, to Kate later. Let's go do some streetwise. <laughs> well, if you want to do that, you can go to Shoma or we can... Oh, I want to mm -hmm. ask around MMO land or sure. where are we, Kinleyville? Yeah. yeah. I, I want to ask people about the ice tower. Ah, and no problem. Um, sure, it's that's not really streetwise since it's not illegal. Mm. Streetwise is your illegal shit. That'd be a simple research role there. People are happy to discuss their random conspiracy theories and shit on the ice tower with you. Yeah, okay. I'll do it. I'll, anyway. I'll try and help them with that. Sure. Uh, anybody wants to support his endeavors, go ahead and roll a research roll. Freddy supports. You get a plus five. Does Dana support? Yes. Getting there. Dana stares at you levelly for a while. <laughs> it is the stupidest thing. It's going to knock down all of the books here. <laughs> Not believe you're wearing that inside. No problem. Um, yeah, the people in M.O. Moland seem almost sexually attracted to his cape. Uh, so you're the total of plus 10. Go ahead and uh, give me a roll on that. Oh, yeah, people are delighted to talk to you about it. What uh, The part that's actually most everybody agrees with is that that seems to be where the bleak river comes from, according to scouts that have been out with the PCs. Uh, it's also close to, uh, is it called Death Gorge? Let me check here real quick. It's not terribly far away, really. I mean, assuming you're going with porters and shit like that to carry your food because you guys all suck in the great outdoors. And it's close to Blood Pass, which is a famous pass in which um, 
Alex Kinley caused uh, an avalanche that killed a bunch of ogres is the current story. Okay. So it is where I put it. Look. Okay. And it's super close to that. The bad thing is that it's freakishly cold near the ice tower. So uh, you have to dress up warm. They, they recommend like uh, there's a lot of talk by the older guys who weren't born here. You know, we would use the special, you know, high tech thermal things and such in order to keep warm and stuff. But we don't have those here. We have farter skins, which may or may not work worth a shit. So, um, but yeah, they're, they're the bleak. The weird thing is, though, that you find out with the, the speculation and stuff is that the bleak river, there's still ice in it even after uh, days of going through warmer shit. And so this strikes them as very interesting. They're thinking that there may be some magic that's keeping it all ice, ice, baby ice there. So, um, but they do not know what. Uh, nobody has been very close to the place because of the cold. And they're very curious about it. And yeah. They, they're they're thinking uh, it is also people have seen it in the distance. It seems to be like five or six stories tall, pretty goddamn big. But uh, yeah, they don't know much about it. Oh, and they do also know there's no windows and um, the the there's one archway in. There's not even a door. Is it actually made of ice? lot of speculation on that some people believe that it's ice some people believe that it's rock that's white some people believe it's a giant bone There's, you'll find people for everything um i really wanted to know if there's any like uh caves or hideouts or anything in that area that'd be used as uh, a base camp up up there you're talking in the extreme cold area uh, however, well, it would be feasible to camp out. You don't want to go anywhere close to Blood Pass because that's close to where the storm, that's close to where the snow shield dwarves are. They're the ones that we bomb the fuck out of uh, because uh, one of them uh, tried talking to Alex Kinley about uh, this cursed hammer they took from them. And Alex gave him a gentle push and sent him through a couple of buildings. And um, killed him a bit. <laughs> totally not Alex's fault for killing him a bit. And so then, uh, in order, and then uh, they they seemed angry about that. And so, as a way of expressing um, uh, the the sorrow of the uh, um, Kinleyville, we gave them a gift of a lot of explosives that we dropped off to them by flying over their formation in the airship and pushing the explosives out of it to what get them. What kind of explosives were they? Loud ones. No, I mean specifically. They're not sure. It was something that uh, 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 Alex uh, uh, shot out. And <laughs> so then he shit a bunch of these things and then they loaded them onto the, the ship and then did that okay uh, sort of explosives work here is the blood pass you're pretty sure in they the don't, forbidden so. mountains uh the blood pass is it in the forbidden mountains so in a second uh it's in the storm shield mountain range but the forbidden mountains um okay actually some of the mountains aren't named some of them are storm shield and nobody knows why or who named them they they some of the old timers who look like they're in their 20s, as everybody seems to, say that uh, the only reason they know that it's the Storm Shield Mountains is because of the old game guides before they came in. And <laughs> they paid extra the, for the PDF and read it. It's the ruined city of Theg near the Blood Pass. Ruined city of Theg? Yes. They don't know. None of them has ever been beyond the Blood Pass. I've been to the Blood Pass. You've been is to the Blood the, Pass. Is the city of Ted near it? Did you go beyond the Blood Pass? I think I did, yeah. The, 
Uh, you don't remember because you didn't take good notes. So you're just going to have to go re explore because you sucked at um, your notes and mapping and shit. All right. Well, let me move this then. Hold on. <laughs> I'll just the map. Okay. So, anyway, yeah, there's no telling what's beyond there because pretty much all the humans here. Keep in mind that the younger, youngest generations, they're getting more adventurous, but the original people here, not adventurers. They're basically refugees, which irritated the shit out of uh, some of the other Doras because they're like, we should go do shit. And they're like, we just want to be farmers. And they're like, ah, you're supposed to be adventurers. And they're like, we're not. So <laughs> they were adventurers when it was a game, but now they're like, getting hit really hurts a lot and death is possible so we're not into it yeah you know, at all except there's some some people like i i think her name is karen or whatever the goblin uh librarian um you know she's she's more adventurous because she'll go to a different zone and stuff because the original people here have the power to use clems and stuff like that the newer generations don't this is causing a lot of fucking hard feelings too and confusion. So you have angry, confused people, which can't at all be a recipe for disaster. Hmm. Any other questions? Mm. People are happy to talk to you guys. Everybody is very nice. They're always offering you, like, sit down and have a drink with me or a cup of tea. Or, you know, would you like your feet rubbed or whatever, you know. I really like you guys. Why don't you come in and have sex with my sister while we talk? You know, I mean, you're just really nice people. Oh, yeah. These people, as far as, like, sexual uh, mores and stuff, they're post-cyberpunk. Or they came from cyberpunk. There are not a lot of fucking barriers left. Pretty much everybody in the city is uh, polyamorous to a very high degree because making more humans is one of their high priorities. Because they're worried that there's going to be some other fucking horrible monster come in and crush them and shit. Plus, making other humans is fun. Plus, it only takes a couple months before they're like teenagers and shit. So, you know, very little child support to be paid at all. Um, also, the with all the all the last names, the family names, always through the women. Because it's real easy to tell who the fucking mother is. You're just watching the kid come out and you go, I think it's her. You know, so that's how they fucking do it here. All right. So, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to ask Glenn and Dana, if you ever... Go to the ice tower. I would really appreciate it if you could let me know whether or not the blood pass, what's around the blood pass in terms of surroundings. Are there cities around it? I'm just asking for the map so I can update it properly. By the by the way, if you guys are wanting to poke around it and stuff, I'm not saying you have to go into it and do all that. Because doing the ice tower, that's definitely prestige. But, you know, if you wanted to poke around the outside, if you can find some warmer duds and stuff. Oh, that's far well, away, though. That's like not all that far. A couple weeks away. Yeah, that's like two weeks. Hey, I, think, I think we've got uh, the prestige mod slotted for tomorrow. But uh, yeah. I right, well, just doing some could, recon. Sure. I mean, yeah, it's two weeks. Freddy doesn't mind. Freddy, Freddy mind. likes walking for weeks and weeks and weeks. Then again, we could use trumps of MMO land. You've walked the pattern, right? Yeah. Need to add to my deck. Got to paint them all. Pokemon. Are there painting supplies here? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. They, they, these guys are... are yeah, they, they, the downside for them is they have to make everything themselves. Um, you also get to find out another thing that will be coming up. There's like some people interested in like several generations later type people interested in becoming merchants. Um, and there's talk about making a new coin. 
on one side of the coin will be Alex Kinley's head, and on the other side of the coin will be the Australian flag in honor of McKay. So that's the current thinking with the upcoming coins. Uh, they're going to be trying to figure out how much their work, though, because uh, everything is kind of on a socialist uh, barter system right now. For you guys, everything's free because you go out and, like, kill monsters and take care of threats before they get here, usually. So. <laughs> All right.